What's up guys, welcome to my channel, Monday Audio Head. I'm back with another video here. So today I'm gonna to be showing you the ATH M60X. This particular thing I actually haven't opened yet. I got this earlier today. We're going to be checking this out and see exactly what it looks like. This costs $199, so you can get this at B&H or Amazon or your favorite music or electronics store. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and see what it looks like. So as you see on the box here, you can uh, see the presentation of it. All right, so on the back side here, you can see that it has uh, quite a couple of accessories here, um, which is the uh, the coil cable, the straight cable, there's actually two straight cables here. You have the pouch plus the quarter inch adapter. Um, on this side it says it's a low profile closed back on ear design provides a excellent and isolation fit. 45 millimeters, a large aperture drivers here. I carefully crafted using key metal components for lasting durability. That sounds uh, promising. Uh, exceptional clarity throughout the extended frequency range with a deep, accurate bass response. Ideal for studio recording, mixing, and ENG applications. Oh, and it has a detachable locking cables to ensure a secure connection. So that definitely sounds uh, promising here. It better be promising for almost $200. Uh, looks like it's an additional driver. So yeah, go ahead and open this up and see what it looks like. Sound of opening the box. Let's check out this uh, presentation here. We have some paperwork. Definitely, uh, definitely worth looking at. We have these cables here. This will sound the box. Check these cables out really fast here. Let's see what this fresh cable looks like. All right. So it looks, uh, looks like your average standard size cable here. Has your regular two ring connection to it, just for the left and right headphones. So this must be the uh, uh, the three footer, looks like. And then let's take out this next one. Already screwed it back. Let's take out this other cable here. This must be the six foot cable, which looks definitely looks pretty long here. Yeah. All right. So we have those cables here. Now for the main attraction. Let's go ahead and take these off. Look at that. Oh, there's some extra stuff here. Oh, there's uh, the, uh, the wire cable here too. I'll go ahead and check that out. And, oh, this is the pouch. All right, so that is the main attraction. Go ahead and put this box to the side here. Let's take a look at that, shall we? Yeah, that wire is definitely long, plus you have the quarter inch here. I have quite a few quarter inches here, so this is definitely going to the inventory. So yeah, it's definitely a long cable. Let's put that to the side, plus we got the pouch. Let's take a look at that. Ooh, it's leather. Oh, wow. Now that's cool. Definitely, that's def a definite twist. Usually pouches like this come in either cloth or um, some kind of um, poly something, poly unit or something like that. Some kind of, some sort of cotton. But the leather is, it's uh, definitely, uh, uh, definitely a deal, a, a deal closer there. Um, definitely looks sturdy. That's actually pretty cool. Definitely fits the bag there. Has all the, the name or the, the symbol on here. Definitely is something worth looking at. All right, so these these definitely look sturdy. They don't look to be the swivel type. Oh, okay, so these do come out. All right, so um, these come all the way out, looks like. Definitely also leather, soft in size. Got the design on both sides here. Actually, actually pretty cool. So it looks like you can actually put in one of the cables here. I'm not sure. Let's see if it clicks. Yeah, it goes right in. How about that? That's actually pretty cool. I like that. I had a, 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 <clears throat> a set of um, D. It was a Sony a set of Sony a DJ Sony DJ headphones that were silver. So it's, these kind of fit. Some, uh, these kind of feel similar to that, except these are a little bit more small in value. This looks like um, these go like on the ear instead of over the ear. That's because you know, that's where the ears go. So if you have like larger ears, it might just s sit on there. 
So it looks like the wires come out. I'm not a fan really of this because the wire actually sticks out. That's not really something I'm a fan of. That's something I actually am noticing. Um, left and right, so it goes like this. These, I don't know, this is kind of, because if you drop these and the wires come out, I mean, that's that's kind of disconcerting. Yeah, this, this is lighter too, this little leather, I forget what it's called right now, but actually, it's when it sits on your head, you have this little thing right here, it's like, it acts like a pillow. But it feels heavy, so it is, um, it has some weight to it. I think it's, uh, I like things pretty cool product here. Audio Text, ATH. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my phone here. I'm gonna see how it plays on my phone. There we go. Let's see what that sounds like. Ooh. Okay, that is uh, that is definitely studio grade headphones. Um, that is definitely studio grade headphones. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so yeah, these are pretty cool. Okay, <laughs> I am going to definitely be using these in the studio for my next set of tracks here. Um, so how does how does this compare to the HDJ X10 headphones from Pioneer? These particular headphones are basically for the studio. Obviously, the HD Pioneer HDJs are basically for you know, the booth, but it does have the same level of quality, um, well, especially on the mid frequency and the treble uh, sides. So not too much bass. So I could definitely um, play with these a little bit. These are definitely worth $200, worth every penny of it. I wish there was like more colors. It was like, you know, white, and maybe, maybe like a green color or something like that. But that's just my personal preference. But um, that's that's basically what they look like. Definitely worth the price. Definitely worth the value. Definitely worth for the studio. The, like I said, these are at Audio Techs M60X. I do plan on getting some more headphones along with some microphones and other things. But these are these are definitely worth it. There's no doubt about that. So that's basically what the box looks like. And like I said, cost uh, two hundred dollars. You can get it from B and H or Amazon or wherever you get that you get your stuff at. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. So, if you guys have any suggestions of, of any audio stuff that you would like for me to look at, definitely let me know. Destroy that like button, share it, put a comment in. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And uh, I am, like I said, I'm gonna be doing some giveaways of some MIDI controllers that I don't actually plan on losing. And I wanna give it, give it to somebody that is gonna be fortunate enough to actually use it. Yeah, so anyway, yeah. Destroy that like button, comment, share. You know the, you know the drill.